Hey friends, it's time for another Jeep video on my Jeep TJ Build series. Uh, this one's gonna be video number 89, and it's all about phone mounting, okay? It's not a real important rock crawler thing, but it's a real important creature comfort thing. I have an iPhone Pro Plus 14 Max. I don't know, maybe there's some other adjectives in there. It's a big fucking phone. Works great, but the Jeep lacks space to install it. So we're gonna fix that. Um, I am a real big fan of Anchor 614, but there's nowhere to mount it. I don't want it on the windshield. So we're gonna do a drill in, and that's what I'm gonna work on today. First things first, you gotta get this trim out. Um, be careful, this trim is expensive and hard to get. But if you just pull on it towards you, it will pop right out, and then you can gently set it in the back there are two screws up here that need to come out let me get a screwdriver and we'll get that off now before i take this off i need to figure out where it's going to go and i want to talk a little bit about why i'm doing drilling okay first it's an 18 year old vehicle i'm not worried about trade-in value it's also a rebuilt title vehicle so there is no trade-in value what i am worried about is function and so i have a ram um mount that i want to install and i'm gonna put it roughly here although not there and um yeah we're having some challenges there so it might wind up going there that that's a pretty good spot for it so uh yeah that'll work so I'm gonna mount uh, the mount here. And that just gives me an idea where I think I wanna put drill holes. Careful choice of words there. Think I wanna put drill holes there. So step one is to remove these and find a place for them. Oh, apparently only one of them is still attached, so that's lovely. Uh, the other one broke off. That means I need this piece of trim for my Jeep at some point. That's frustrating because, yeah, this shit's all difficult to get anyway. So you start by releasing it in the bottom. And... Uh, then what we need to do is evaluate where we were going to put this, and it looks like we're just fine. Um, there's plenty of space here, so that's a good place to drill it out. So let's do that. All right, so we got this out, and this is mildly irritating because I'm going to have to redo this more than once. Okay, so next what I want to do is go get some screws that will uh, fit in here, and I'll be right back. Okay, so um, we need to test fit this, and I've, I'm using number 10 screws, they're 1024, and what I'm mainly worried about is the back side of it. So that's a three quarter, and that seems to be just plenty. Let me check the other location. The other location's just fine as well. So we'll go ahead and start putting this together. A little bit of a circus trick. Uh, managing the piece of trim with one person and uh, yeah, whatever.
Okay, so that's in. And then we will do the other one. One of the things I did a long time ago was I bought a whole bunch of fasteners so that when I have to do something like this, okay, so this one's not quite enough, I don't think. Eh, we'll see, it might work. It might, it might work. Let me get a, a pair of pliers. These will work just fine. And a screwdriver. And of course, the part that sucks, I'll have to do this twice, but whatever. The reason I'm going to have to do it twice is that this piece of trim is not fully functional. It's got a broken tab on it, so I'm going to replace it. Now, this mount was about $34, so it was really affordable, but the by the time you're done, the Apple uh, MagSafe puck is $36, and then a quality um, charger for it is another $20, so it looks like... Oh, it's just this piece that's loose. Yeah, so this is damaged. Um, I could screw it back together, but again, this this little tray is what's actually damaged. So I'm just going to order another one. Um, I'll think about it. But yeah, I, I think it should be replaced. Um, it'll it'll work for what we're doing. Okay, so now we're going to just slip this in. now. Uh, let me get my screwdriver. Interesting thing is the date cut on this part suggests it's original. Um, and, you know, with the damage that was going on in this vehicle, I'm not surprised to see this part damaged. I'm just going to put this screw back so I can find it again. Alright, so... Now, we're not quite done. It might look like we are, but I I want to reroute this. So let me get this hermetically sealed packaging open. A little less woke packaging and a little more. So, this needs to come down here, but I'm going to see if I can get it to route back underneath the, the trim. That's good enough. And then I bought a nice anchor um, charger, which is uh, again hermetically fucking sealed.
Uh, part of the reason this is expensive is because it's a, a double USB-C. Um, I don't know if I want it there or not. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go to the trouble to get it to come out down here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to... Bring it all the way down underneath. That's more like what I really want to see. So that gets it out of the path of me. And then that's probably where we want that. So we'll crank it down. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. But it puts it right where I want it. So, maybe a little close. Could probably move it back some. But it's definitely in the right spot. No wires, nothing to, nothing to be in my way. It's a little close in here, but I can still get around it. So, I mean, you know. When I'm driving, it's it's going to be just fine. I mean, that's that's the normal drive for me. There's no glasses. So, when I'm when I'm driving this, that shouldn't have happened. good sign. So we'll see if this works or not. Um, if not, it may get swapped for a different RAM mount. Um, only one way to tell and that's to drive it and see. Um, you know, it may wind up being a suction cup mount even though I said I didn't want that. We'll see. Anyway, um, I think this is a nice clean mount. Um, Let's see, we'll go ahead and pop this back in. I don't know how often it's gonna get hit that hard, so I we'll see. Um, I might have to spend another hundred and something dollars on this. Um, and again, I think I would want to move it back further. Uh, I gotta replace this anyway, cause this, that's gonna rattle and that will irritate me. So we'll see. 
Um, for now, we're done. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll put the items that I used in the description. And, uh, you know, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the alert icon. And check out the rest of the playlist, Jeep TJ Build. Or Jeep Build is the playlist name. And that's how I organize all the videos related to this Jeep.